So on this channel, I review the Knock Free Light Wireless Split Keyboard, and I have to say it has become my favorite keyboard. In fact, I replaced all my other ergonomic keyboards with simply this, this one. The reason why I like it so much is that it obviously feels really good to type on thanks to its foam and split ergonomics. My favorite feature of this is the Vile software, which allowed me to customize it just as I like so I can do all the powerful commands. For example, home row mods, I'm able to do things like command tab without ever leaving my four fingers on the home row layer. Now, my only real critique with this keyboard was that it only came in white. Well, they actually released a new version, a purely black version, and this one has RGB, and, and best of all, it's using silent switches. So I really want to give this keyboard a shot, so let's unbox it, and I'll give you my first impressions, and then I'm going to give you kind of like a long-term review of this keyboard since they're pretty much the same. So we have the same unboxing experience. You open it from side to side, just like that. We got our instructions, and then we have this brand new keyboard with silent switches and some very interesting keycaps. These are translucent so that you can really take advantage of the RGB. We got some extra keycaps and let's see what kind of cable it comes with. Now this is a wireless display keyboard so you don't necessarily need to connect them, connect them to two halves together. So we got black cables. So it comes with some extra switches. All right, so here are the pink switches and you can see these are the silent switches. Very quiet. So let's do a sound test between the two because this is the thing that you probably want to hear the most. Now I have to say I really enjoyed the brown switches on the original Knock Free Light. I have to say they feel very, very good to type on. I've tried different switches and I always came back to the brown switches, the original default ones that come with it. They just feel so good to type on. So here's the sound test. Wow, that is very quiet. So I have to say the pink switches feel really good to type on. It is so quiet. This is gonna be so help helpful when you are in the office and the high pitched click clackety noise. You don't wanna annoy your neighbors. I think this is a really good way to like be respectful in the office environment. Not to say that the other keyboard was very loud. They're not using blue switches. So definitely I think you can go with both, but if you're going to be you know typing at night and someone's sleeping in the same room, room with you, these do make a big difference. Very quiet, just very satisfying to type on. Look at these more closely together. You can see they're pretty much the same here. Nothing is different. The wireless dongle is still here. It's embedded inside. Now, what I like about this split keyboard is that it keeps the traditional design. And this is very important for me because I'm very used to using my pinky on some of the modifier keys, especially control. So when I do control C, control V, Alt tab and stuff like that. And by the way, I like that it has four keys over here. This makes the alt tab very comfortable because you can rest your thumb and then do your alt tab just like that. And especially if you're gonna play video games, you have your WASD. This is gonna be a lot more familiar. So there is a lot of elitism in the split keyboard community. And a lot of people will be say will be saying, why do you have the you know the staggered layout and you're not using ortholinear or columnar staggered? Well, you can see over here, I do have one of these. And I have to say, it's not as easy to get used to as a regular split keyboard. So if you're new to split keyboards, I, do, I definitely recommend getting something like this where it's not that much of a shock of a change. These are different and they're supposed to be a little bit more ergonomic, but I, I, do, I was never really convinced by that. They said that instead of moving up to the side, you kind of move up, but you just get used to using the regular type of keyboard. And then when you switch transition to a laptop, for example, it becomes easier to go back and forth and you don't have to kind of re rejig your memory on how to use a ortholinear or a columnar staggered keyboard. And worst of all with these types of keyboards is the control is you don't have any more pinky controls anymore versus here you can go control here. You can't do that. It's, it's a little bit different. Now this is a taller keyboard. So you definitely want to get some kind of palm rest. I've been using a 3M very long gel palm rest and I would say that is my favorite one. I still use it to this day, but I have to say they're, uh, sold as a separate, they're different palm rest. These walnut palm rest feel very, very good. And best of all, they're very portable. So when I have to go into the office, being able to put everything in the official knock free case, the keyboard, plus the, the little cables and this palm rest, which I'm gonna open right now. This is a slightly different color. And of course we got the tenting kit and it's a very simple tenting mechanism. Now I don't actually tent at all. So I'm gonna keep it more truthful to how I actually use this keyboard. 
So the great thing about this split keyboard is that the palm rests are, don't automatically get a tad. And I've had issues with other keyboards that do that and I find it kind of annoying. So I like being able to like customize it. And this is a great set, great setup. These are really light. The keyboard itself is also very light. And if you can put them all into the case, just like so. So this is a very light setup. I really like how compact it is. Everything is neat and tidy. You can, of course, you can put your cables in here and it just makes going, going to the office a lot less painful. I don't have to carry that big 3M gel wrist pad. That thing was very annoying to carry around. These palm rests are just way more portable. All right, so let's talk about the keycaps. Now these are translucent and they feel a little bit different than your typical PBT keycaps. Overall, they do feel really good. I don't think they're gonna make typing any, any worse or harder, anything like that. So here's a little close up. Yeah, it's a really interesting keyboard. It's see-through. Yeah, they feel really good. I'm not entirely sure what the, the material of it ma is made of, but it just feels like a softer plastic. There's absolutely no rattle with this keyboard. It just feels so solid to type on. They did a great job with the construction. This one comes with the foam, and I have to say, it really does make a big difference. I do recommend getting the foam. Definitely get it. It just feels so good to type on. There's absolutely no kind of annoying ping noise or resonance or anything like that. It feels really good. Now, one thing I do want to test is the RGB. We'll do that right now. Controlling the RGB lights is straightforward. I use the Vial software to customize my keyboard so I can set up different controls. Things like toggle the lights, cycle through modes, adjust hue, saturation, and brightness. I've programmed mine so that when I hold down layer four, that's my caps lock key, I can press escape or other keys to control these functions. The RGB lights are absolutely beautiful. They shine through the translucent keycaps and matte keyboard layer really well. You can even see them clearly in daylight. When I turn up the brightness, there's no coil whine like what you get in some other keyboards. The lighting effects really add a lot of fun and personality to the keyboard. Also, the battery life on this device is nuts. This thing has a huge 3600 milliamp battery. So depending on how bright the RGB is, you're looking to get anywhere from a few weeks to six months before you need to charge it again. So in my last review of this video, I went into a lot of detail talking about the Vile software and I explained things like tap dancing, home row modifications, mod tap layers and all that stuff. So if you want to have a really detailed review, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a link to my Notion page, which explains how to set this all up. It's very easy. Don't be intimidated if you are new to split keyboards. So what you can do is you can have multiple different layers. You can switch between Mac and Windows with let's say a tap like this, W and N held together, just like that. Or if I want to go switch to Mac, MC, like that. I can do home row modifiers. It means that I can hold down J and hit T and J when, when I hold it down, it becomes command. So command T and it just makes it so easy to open up a new tab versus kind of using the modifier keys, which are not in a pure sense. They're not good for your wrist. If I, if I'm typing like this and I bend over there, that causes some pain over here and I hit control T it's not that good for you. Now I still do it, but it's nice to have that optionality being able to stay on the home row row and hit command T just like that. But if I'm typing really fast, it works perfectly. I'm able to type on monkey type well over hundred words per minute. One great feature on the Vile software, and by the way, this is only available on the desktop version, not the web app version, is that you can easily back up your JSON configuration. In fact, here's a pro tip. Because the wireless and wired version are registered as different keyboards, you can create one configuration and then just simply copy it over to the other keyboard. In my case, I was able to copy the configuration from the white version of the knock free light to the black version. Now, one of the best selling points of this keyboard is that it offers wireless connectivity. And at this price point, this is a huge competitive edge. A lot of mechanical split keyboards don't offer wireless connectivity. And this in fact uses the more reliable 2.4 gigahertz dongle. However, in my prior review, I did highlight that I had some issues typing really fast with layer tab and home row mods enabled. Fortunately, after playing around with the tab hold configuration, I was able to get the wireless version to behave almost as good as the wired version. Now it's still not totally perfect and I still prefer to use the wired version, but in any case, in a pinch, being able to have wireless connectivity, especially in niche cases is especially helpful. So after having used the silent switches for quite a long time, I have to say, honestly, I much prefer them over the brown switches. Now this is a matter of preference. I find that typing with silent switches feels softer and easier on my fingers over a long period of time. So to wrap up this video, I have to say the knock free light wireless split keyboard is still my favorite keyboard. I love the fact that they came out with a new edition. This is the RGB black edition with translucent keycaps with silent switches. 
Now, of course, you can customize it to your liking. You can have whatever color arrangement you want, whatever switches you want. You don't even need to get the RGB lights if you want to save a, a couple of bucks. But overall, I have to say this is my best keyboard. It has replaced everything. If you're new to split keyboards or you're very advanced, this keyboard is definitely for you. For the price, this is probably one of the best value split keyboards. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.